The Fallout series has always been one of my favourite video game series. I always found the world, the characters and scenarios to be so fascinating and interesting that whilst I was playing Fallout 4 a couple of years ago, I thought this would make a great film or a movie. But instead, it's a new and better series with Amazon Prime's Fallout. I really enjoyed this series because it really feels like it was made with love and care by people that have actually consumed the games and who understand the lore whilst also adding their own spin and original story to it. The amount of references and fan service to the games is quite insane and never feels like it's ashamed of its original source material and tries to do its own thing. And every single prop, poster and sound effect feels very nice and well made that it feels like they use the exact same mp3 files from the games and put them directly into the series. To the point I feel like I was being overloaded with references I couldn't stop gasping and awing with excitement when I was on screen. And the main characters as well I really liked, and the best part was that they weren't super cringe or annoying. I was curious to see what they would have done for the protagonist, since Fallout is an RPG where the player chooses how they can do things, and is more or less a blank slate. But I thought it was quite a good choice to have multiple main characters, in a way reflecting different playstyles gamers would choose. Another aspect I like is that despite it being very enjoyable for fans, but it also does depend what kind of fan you are, this series is far more inspired by Fallout 4 than it is with 1, 2, 3 and New Vegas. In terms of its humour, tone and colours, it's far more Fallout 4 inspired than it is the previous ones. Whilst it still has the dark, hopeless aspects of Fallout, I kind of had to refresh myself of what Fallout is actually like, because it had been a few years since I last played a Fallout game, and Fallout fans are always cynical. There is a lot of dark comedy with some very intense subject matter, but not Marvel movie, kind of funny with how people react to it. Which is probably why some people are saying this is more of a Lost of Us than is a Halo. And people that have never played a Fallout game will still really enjoy this series. Things won't be completely lost on them if they don't know all the lore inside and out. Which I think can be quite difficult with other video game adaptations. And the thing is with the Fallout games, you can spend hundreds of hours within them, learning about every single thing, which can be quite limited by an 8 hour series. I was quite surprised with how much pre-war stuff they included, given the fact that pre-war was only briefly shown in the games. It's nice to see some more of what pre-war America looked like, and it's a bit strange that we're getting it in the form of a series and not from the games themselves. That isn't a complaint or anything, it's just a bit of a surprise to me. I think the show very effectively establishes the world and the culture within it, as well as the, as well as the different factions and people that inhabit the wasteland, as well as the wildlife and even the robots look one-to-one -to, -one to the games and don't feel out of place. I thought to myself, even if there weren't any Fallout games and this was like the world's first introduction to the world, I still think it would have been just as good, it, even if there wasn't anything behind it. I do believe I have a bit of a bias towards the series because I am very happy that this show exists, and my rating of this show might be a bit more affected since I have been a fan of it for quite a while, therefore I recognise things and understand what is good about it and how well it, it translates over. But I think even if I had never consumed any Fallout media, I still think I would have enjoyed it just as much. But seeing something you like adapt into something enjoyable and watching it with your family members and telling them what that gun is, what that thing is, or how it contributes and what it's called, it's just a strange feeling, but a good kind of strange, which is how I would describe the show as well. I give it a 9 out of 10, probably one of the best video game adaptations ever, as well as telling its own story that would definitely fit in within the world of Fallout.